Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Don't Draw campaign. This is episode 5. We're going to pick it up from turn 25 in the summer season of 195. So, last episode, uh, we started out pretty poorly with a bad ambush against Ma Teng's forces, which forced our main army of Lü Bu to basically uh, be recalled and reset. Uh, but we did end uh, pretty well. We got a legendary horse. Uh, from our animal tamer, which we placed on Dong Zhuo's army, if they let me click them. The yellow hoofed thunder, wonderful horse. And we were also able to beat back Cao Cao's main force, uh, wipe them off from the map. And there's still another force behind, but much less of a threat. And this episode, we finally can catch our breath, uh, reset our uh, campaign going forward. We're going to have two uh, proper armies. One to defend Chang'an, considering now it's our uh, eastern front against uh, incoming threats, which would continue to pour in, I expect. There is a huge coalition uh, out in the east. It includes Gong Sun Zan, Han Fu, Yuan Shao, uh, Wang Kuan, Kong Rong, Liu Bei. They're all in one coalition. Uh, so this huge piece right here, um, they're at war with some of their smaller neighbors, Gong Sun Du, uh, Liu Yu. Zhang Yan, and I'm assuming Zhang Jiang in the future once uh, they get a wind of her. Uh, they're not in contact with her yet. Uh, even though Yuan Shu's faction, which is now led by his son Yuan Yao and Cao Cao, are not in that coalition, they have been leading uh, the fight against us. And it has basically forced Cao Cao's army west. Uh, normally the AI Cao Cao, if you're not playing as Dong Zhuo, tend to extend uh, down south and get into a conflict with uh, Sun Jian over here. But now Sun Jian is left unchecked as well as they expand uh, into the territory down here. Although they're in a war with Liu Yao, who is making good progress actually, has claimed this copper mine. Don't see this all the time. Uh, the yellow turbans are doing quite poorly. Gong Du has been wiped out. Huang Shao is down to one territory. He Yi has two pieces right here. No, only one piece. This is the leftover piece of uh, Wang Long's faction. Uh, his daughter took over after his death. So He Yi is one territory, Huang Shao is one territory. Unfortunately, our Yellow Turban brothers from our last Let's Play are not doing so hot. Uh, there are some rebellions around, but they're pretty much going to die off soon as well. Uh, we're going to turn our focus to our uh, territory here as we need to seize control of the West first. Uh, so to properly set things up, we're going to start taking off uh, generals from the field. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually try to save costs because we were stretched on three fronts technically for a while and now we can reduce it down to just two so some of these generals who I don't intend to use going forward are going to be recalled back uh, out of this army uh, Niu Fu will be recalled back uh, his army is pretty temporary anyways with four archers and two cavalry for a vanguard general and we're going to put uh, Guo Si on the field still. He's level 3. He has a pretty decent retinue. Uh, we might switch these two units to uh, spear guards. So they're all spear guards. And then we're going to put him with Dong Zhuo's army to defend out uh, over here. Uh, we're going to recall her as well. She is really recruited just to be a Simon character. For the sentinel skill. Just gonna scale things back a little bit, merge them together. He doesn't get along with either one. It's fine. Um, what's gonna happen most likely is that uh, he and Dong Zhuo might develop into a rivalry. Um, it will just boost both of their attack in battle. It will create a little satisfaction issue, but I can look past that for now. And eventually, we can just summon him back as an administrator uh, to defend Unding anytime we need to because then he will just have one turn cooldown and then he will be in the city as a garrison retinue. So we're pretty happy with things out uh, east here. We're gonna just get rid of these two as well. We're gonna pull back to the city and use the city's uh, garrison to help us defend as well. And speaking of the city, we kept this farm for a long time because we were worried about our food. And I'm gonna actually demolish it now since we are uh, pr at a pretty good surplus. And what I wanna do actually is invest in a conscription building. Uh, this is going to be a big deal because not only will it give us more uh, seasonal retinue deployment, which would be great because I like to shuffle generals in and out of the battlefield 
sometimes just to um, have an army of generals to farm rebellions. And the local population growth limitations are good in this case because we don't need populations for industry and commerce income uh, commandery because it's a jade mine commandery here. So this way it can actually curb our, gov our population growth, which will reduce our pressure of public order uh, resentment developing here in Chang'an. And we also have minus 5% redeployment costs, which will ultimately build into uh, free redeployment uh, in the mid to late game for us. Public order also helps us out. And most importantly, plus three starting rank for all recruits. So that's what we're looking for. Uh, we're going to try to use this uh, along with Lu Bu's new army once we pull it out of Chang'an as we sweep west into uh, Ma Teng's land very soon. Uh, there's no uh, reform requirements for any of the first three levels, so we're just going to build these up starting next turn uh, if they line up perfectly with this finishing uh, we're not going to go beyond level three uh, even though for don't draw this is his faction unique bonuses are existing on uh, four and five uh, you do get public order uh, right away which is nice but because there's an upkeep and we don't really need the extra uh, bonuses these two buildings provide just yet so we're just going to aim for uh, three simple upgrades and then we can summon Lubu's army onto the field so we're going to be a little light defensively. We're going to hope and pray that Ma Teng doesn't uh, get too aggressive at this point. We might use diplomacy to buy us a little time if we have to. Uh, Unding should have a rebellion soon. Military crackdown will die down slowly and then we can farm another rebellion with another general. Uh, we recalled many so we can just maybe put Dong Min here or whoever want we want to level up a bit. Uh, Lü Bu. Uh, Zhang Liao and Guo Jia will still form our core army as they complete the mission of destroying Ma Teng and Han Sui's uh, forces. So that's our plan. Uh, and I think we're good to go to next turn unless we can take a peek at diplomacy real quick to see if we have any quick deals that offer us some potential leeway. I mean, he's wavering. Oh, that's not wavering. Okay, he's not going to say peace anytime soon okay we're fine uh, we're just gonna tough it out uh, there's no trade deal either so we have two slots that we're not using hopefully they'll wipe out the Han and then we can get the Han somewhere over here somewhere over here anywhere close to us that we can actually trade with them so that's it let's go next turn all right and Huang Shao might not last very long because Liu Bei is making a move against him and Liu Yu is also borderline dead. Okay. So Han Sui's got dragged back into a war with us uh, by Ma Teng. This might be a little bit of a headache. We might have to lose some territories uh, farther west and just reclaim them. It'd be safer this way than trying desperately to fight them over there. Another science war. Uh, this is, I mean, what I want to say is that it's nice we have so many kids, but we're 57, she's 47, and we're pumping kids out at record speed here. It's a little disturbing, right? Three-year-old, two-year-old, zero-year-old? I mean, she would be a old mother even in modern society. Well, she can do it. Good for her. We got ourselves a champion, a uh, commander for the future, perhaps. Perhaps we'll have a Dong Mimin Mi Mi as our future leader. Uh, our oldest boy is only three years old. Uh, we'll last till they come of age. He's not that old. 57 is okay. Um, new characters in the court. Li Tong. Okay. He's not terrible. He's also very high level. Feared. That's pretty good, actually. It's one of the better... Uh, traits. This, not so much. But he might get along with Zhou Tai, who has the same exact trait. Um, you put two uh, shy guys together in a room, wonder what happens. Resourcefulness, pretty good too. And he starts out with Reach. Can't really complain about him. Coron's faction, willing to spy for us, so he's definitely not a spy. I'm tempted, but we have way too many vanguards at this point. We have two sitting around here doing nothing. Alright. Eventually they'll be great. Once we get three horse pastures and some uh, conscription buildings, we'll be pumping out cavalry armies non-stop. Alright, let's get that building started. They're coming. Once we get one level, 
with the plus two rank, we'll start recruiting an army for Dong Zhuo. Cao Cao seems committed. They're coming again. He spent a lot of money redeploying him onto the field. Two turns. I think this might be a three turn travel time. So we can wait a little bit. Ma Teng is coming out. Han Sui is still sitting there. Mm, I don't want to rush it. We're not going to get anywhere in time anyways um, because I want to wait to at least the level 1 conscription to put Lü Bu and them out onto the field. This turn, we're just going to find them a friend to level up together. Maybe Dong Min. And the three of them can hunt uh, yellow turbans together. Give us a little uh, intimidation boost. Alright, gonna quickly end this turn. This city is tanking in terms of uh, faction here. I think it's because Dongjo has the cruel trait. So we have we lose a little bit of public order right here. And we don't have enough of a boost back uh, from our, our intimidation. Because that overwhelming is plus 8, but menacing is only plus 2. But it's fine. Uh, if we have a rebellion, we can quickly summon 3 generals here as well. We have pretty high army cap. So I'm not going to be worried about that. Let's continue to build this up. Um, this might be better, actually. Yeah, let's do this first. And our spy's back after failing again. I trust him. He has the quiet skill. He has the highest cap. The potential to be great. Maybe Sun Jian wants to hire. He is expanding a lot. He also has a lot of family member, so maybe he'll work something out there. We'll just keep trying until we hit. All right, uh, that's all we can do. Let's go next turn. All right, Liu Yu is giving us a peace treaty. We're going to take it, actually, because he's almost dead. He is almost dead. So we're going to try to extract everything we can from him before he officially dies. Yeah, we'll take that armor. We should equip that to pe on someone before we actually recruit new units. We could give him a per turn deal. Because if he dies, we don't really have to worry about the per turn aspect of it. This really depends on how fast he dies. Because we don't really need this armor. And this is a big cost to it, if he doesn't die right away. Maybe this is not worth it. We could just take cash and avoid this whole situation. Because minus 6 expertise, we can't really give it to anyone that's uh, administrator. But the instinct and resolve is pretty nice. Uh, let's hold out. Let's not get it. Eventually we'll get Chengdu's armor smith. And then we can have a lot of armor, hopefully, in this playthrough. Uh, we're going to ask for cash, which was which is what he was offering in the first place, I think. Five something. Yeah, it might be the same deal he gave us. Yeah, I think we can just do this. We'll agree. All right. Uh, Huang Shao survives with a peace treaty. Okay. Lu Bu and Diao Chan has a kid. A son. Okay. Our spies try again. Artisan. Very good. John Liao, where are you? I think you have artisan. <laughs> but um, we can also give it to Guo Si because there's also um, industry income from the tool maker. This instinct we can give it to Dong Zhuo for now because we're summoning a new army onto the field uh, for him. He's at plus 8. I don't think changing this would hurt us. Yeah, it's still plus 8. That's perfect for her. We don't need to change that. Anyone mad at us? Ooh, 25. Dial Chan, take a fish. Okay. Our heir has leveled up. Our dear wife, who is being very productive. Plus one rank. Good time. Good time to level up. Yu Jin. Ooh. 
not working for Cao Cao this time. He is also a great administrator. Alright, very good administrator. Just expertise is a little low. We can check him uh, for items a little bit later. Uh, we checked out all that. Time to spend a little money on this army. So they're building up more. They're recruiting their best cavalry unit on their strategist. They're also bringing trebuchet. Now that's going to be spicy. Ma Teng is also building up. This is bad. This probably means we're going to lose some of these cities. Which is fine. We're going to work our way the right way. Going down this way. Sweep off all the borders. Um, where would we like to recruit? We probably just want to stay inside the city. We have starting rank plus two. It's going to stay plus two till level three. So we're not going to wait another two turns. We're going to actually start producing an army here now. Because they're going to need time to replenish as well. Uh, we could go with these way more expensive Sealand Cavalries. But if we really compare, it's not that different. Uh, you end up with more armor piercing damage, which is, which is great. Um, but you lose out on a lot of speed. And these get the job done at a much cheaper cost. So we're just going to go with these guys. Um, it's If you look at the charge bonus, like it's about a 50 jump each time. So obviously these are better units, but cost-wise, we're just going to go with these guys. Alright, still have 5,000 a turn income. That's good enough. We're also going to pump out Lü Bu, Zhang Liao, and Guo Jia onto the field. They can wait a turn to get their army. We can actually move them to the edge of this commandery, which is actually not that far. It's the river is the edge. Uh, because we want to attack this. This is our first target. Three turns? Yeah, I think maybe three turns. We'll just go to this side. Oh, wrong army. Ah, uh, we messed up the mustering. That is really unfortunate. That is tragic, actually. This is the edge. We wanted to put this army here. But we completely messed that up. Now we have to wait five turns. Mm. Okay, I mean, we did it. What can we do? Rebellion soon? Maybe two turns. They're ready for it. Alright, let's just go next turn. No need to weep for uh, that mistake. Giants also willing to sign peace treaty with us. I mean... They're all willing to sign because they're getting crushed by the coalition. But I don't think they'll actually pay me anything. He's poor. That's the problem. 1.1, 1 1.8. 1 mm. Maybe a little bit of cash? No. No. Then we don't need to sign a deal. When you're more desperate, come back and talk to us. Alright, Gong Sun Zan uh, and Han Fu are still going to war with Liu Yu. Amazing he hasn't died. And Cao Cao declares war on Yuan Shao, which means he's going to go to war with that coalition. He's crazy. Look at that. Retaliation from the coalition. Okay, now we get a white pheasant, which is a bad omen. Alright, maybe we'll try to not fight for a while. Uh, Liu Dai has marched personally through the river to attack our land with an army of all rank 1 units that are all super weak. We'll just ignore him. Ma Teng's forces are almost done replenishing. He has a really good army uh, armor here. Look at that armor on him. So we gotta watch out for that. Zhang Liao has leveled up from being an administrator. I think we're gonna go with bravery. Charge negate still very useful. Uh, you mean to shock uh, to fear and terror is also very useful and we also want to get this which is a, a area buff very strong area buff well since we lost mustering we can actually walk around if we want it's not gonna hamper our replenishment this is one type of ambush battle i could take because we can delegate it it's a winnable 
ambush battle. Uh, they'll get more military supply by being inside. I think we gotta recruit. We gotta start getting ready for the fight that's coming to us. We can't wait. Um, Dan Sword Guards are great units. Um, they're not great against cavalry, but now we have charge in the gate, so we're not gonna get damaged by cavalry. They'll be great frontline units. We can also keep a couple of Z militia, because then you have charge negate and charge reflect, which will wipe out people from the flank. So I think we'll go four of these guys, two of these guys. Definitely need these. And we're going to go with the same cheap cavalry here. There we go. We'll upgrade to better calves uh, once we get cataphracts, or maybe we'll just go with the faction unit unit. It depends on what we do on the reform tree as well. See, with mustering, it's three turns. Without mustering, it's five turns. Now four. We made a big mistake. Uh, but these guys should be battle ready. In we should start moving them in two turns because we will still be spending a turn in our territory. So not so bad. Rebellion two turns. Looks like Cao Cao's making new enemies, so maybe he won't come after us. Because Yuan Zhao's coalition is going to attack them. I wonder how they're going to fare. Alright, let's get it to level 3. Uh, we could have waited a turn to recruit these guys but for another rank. But 4 is decent enough. Uh, this is going to be a pretty big hot spot of fighting. Considering it's our eastern front and also our capital. So having a conscription building here is not bad. Uh, let's continue. Alright, Liu Yao has died. Tao Tian has died. Yuan life to live. With a coalition formed against you, Yuan Shao's desire to strike has made him reckless, leaving his family unprotected back in the city. Yes, historical event. Yuan Shao's entire family who lives in the capital, uh, or actually they got migrated to uh, this area with uh, when the capital was burned down. Basically, we killed them all, which made us complete enemies. We can imprison them for more money and less diplomatic damage. Whoa. This seems to be the better choice. Right, because we have them as prisoners so we can get more money from him, blackmail him. And he can't really hate us as much if we still kept them alive. Alright, we're going to go with a smart choice here. Alright, we're going to have a bit of an issue here though. Ma Teng is making a move against An Ding, who I don't think we can hold unless Dong Zhuo's army slip up to protect it. Oh, this is actually this is actually good. We destroy him and then we go relieve the city of the siege because he doesn't have a tribuchet, so he has to siege at least one turn. And then we can just march all the way over. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up this army to run away to not get killed. They can run down to the capital. Or we can just summon them back. Or sneak attack behind them. That's suicide. <laughs> um, we can also go claim a horse pasture. They're recruiting. They're trying to leave. Yeah, why don't we just do something useful and go to the horse pasture? Alright. We're going to go this way. Cao Cao's army is still after us. They could attack both positions. And we're not going to ambush them. That's just foolish. I learned my lesson the hard way. We can wait a turn in the city. If they take the Jade Mine, they take the Jade Mine. We can take it back very next turn. We can try to use the Jade Mine's garrisons, which is pretty decent. To inflict as much damage as we can against their range units, especially taking out their tribuchet. And then we can just easily take it back next turn with this uh, full healed army. And then we can start turning uh, over here now that his army is out in the open and we can actually go meet and take care of them. Uh, this is full build. We need reforms for both of these. We could upgrade this, but we're short on food, especially if we lose Unding somehow. Alright, we're going to upgrade the farm in case we lose the city. Uh, private workshop first. Alright, so we're going to 
start this fight with Liu Dai. He can't run because he's on march. Alright, let's go wipe him out. Alright guys, we loaded up in here. Wide open map. Good place to destroy them. Get some experience our tribuchets. Uh, they start out in range, so we're going to pull back a little bit. Want maximum number of shots on them. Uh, this army is pretty elite. I don't think they can actually make it to our line. We'll keep the two weak uh, units on the side so they can replenish up faster. We don't want to take, any, take any more losses on them. We'll save our cavalry. We'll pick, put Big Dong in the front. These guys provide charge bonus, charge resistance. Alright. Watch them come and die. And if you put Dong Droid like close enough, what happens is that they actually stop moving. Um, give you a little bit more time to shoot with your tribuchets. I mean, a few units will charge at him, but since we do have the legendary horse on him, uh, we don't have to worry about these cavalries chasing Dongdro down. They're doing a pretty good job of loose formation. They do have strategists, so... They do have access to a few formations. We don't have to be that far ahead. We're just trying to prevent the archers from being able to even to hit our line. Okay, the archers might not make it. Uh, so we don't have to worry about them. Let's just not take any damage at all then. Let's try to actually pull a clean fight here. We should get our cavalry ready though. We want to chase them down. We don't want them to actually run away because we used up all our movement point so we can't really farm them for intimidation. Uh, it's going to be a one battle type of deal here. I believe if we kill all the range units first, they won't have any damage except for maybe one charge from these guys because charge... Uh, Reflect is not charge negate. We'll still take a little bit of damage, but we'll reflect most of it back on them. All right, they're routing. So we just want these guys to start getting ready to chase, get some experience on them as well. Just got to wipe this guy out first. We don't want them to shoot at us. Right. After this route, it's that unit right there. Oh, our crossbowmen might put them out of their misery. Alright. We'll all go over here first. Alright, they're actually regrouping. We might want to wait a little bit. We don't want to get shot. At this point, they can just auto-fire by themselves. They don't need my directions anymore. We're fully protected from the front. If they charge, they'll get dismounted. Oh, we do need to target these guys if they do come back. This guy's getting away, though. We're not going to catch... Oh, not if he comes back. Feel free to come back. Is the general unbreakable on anyone? No, they're actually surprisingly holding up pretty well defensively in terms of morale. Even though most of their army is completely done in. They're recovering. I mean, I hope they just charge my line. Alright, 
I'm just trying to fight this to make sure no one dies because we need every mem available to fight against Ma Teng's forces. We're shooting at the generals now just because there's no one else to shoot at. Maybe Dong Zhuo can just go put them out of their misery. All right, I trust him. Let's go. He has fear too, I believe. Scare. Yeah, it's on his weapon. Yep, scared. Let's go kill her first. We have a good horse. Oh, we're getting shot at. That's what we didn't want to happen. Who's shooting us? Oh, they routed. Okay. Did we lose anyone? We lost one unit. That's a shame. They're actually fighting Dong Zhuo. Isn't scare enough to wipe you guys out? Right, let's kill her. There we go. Let's kill him. You can get in on the fun. Chase some unit down for us. We're gonna spread these guys out. We'll have one stay on him. Alright. Two are on the wrong unit. Alright, everyone spread out. Yep, everyone is spread out. Where's Dong Zhuo? Kill the last general. Well, actually, Dong Zhuo can catch cavalry. He has good horse. Alright, you can go kill the old guy. Dash, you can join on the fun too. Alright, we kind of maximize our experience for this battle. Everyone finished their ammo. Level 4, level 3, level 3. Not bad. And we didn't lose any frontline units. Or not many, at least. Alright, we're just going to cut it to the end. See you guys at the end screen. Alright, we just lost one cavalry. Uh, we lost the one that was on the side. Got shot by an archer here. That came back from the route. Uh, we got Intimidation. Let's get some money. Level up. Great. Um, Dong Zhuo's probably going to lead the whole way. We'll pick up Reach on him. So do we want Patience to capture Generals? Or do we want a little bit more range armor piercing damage for the Crossbowmen? Hmm... We probably want Night Battle because he's the only one who can get it in this army. We don't. We can't hire Ma Teng because he's the uh, faction leader, so there's really no one we really want to capture. Uh, Pong Do is pretty good. He's unbreakable as well, so we could recruit him, but he's also very loyal and a friend to Ma Teng, so I doubt he'll join us. So let's just go with more damage for the crossbow units for now. Eventually we'll get that. Uh, we do have a reform to pick. Now we're pretty much maxed out in terms of our uh, Onyx Dragon Rush because we never built a school building. Uh, eventually we will, maybe in Shoufeng once we capture it. We could get the level 4 in building. Um, trade influence also would give us a little bit of income as well. I think that's where we should go. Hmm. We could also do another administrator, put someone in Jincheng with a retinue to protect it a little bit. And also build up our income there as well. Because we do have... Wait, why is he mad at us? Ah... So for Dong Zhuo's faction, if you want to give someone a rank up, not only do you have to pay them more, you also lose 6 Intimidation. Uh, which is just an extra cost, not a big deal. He's just mad because he's level 3. That's pretty much it. Um, we could just resolve it with an item. Or we don't actually have to worry about it, because it's not going to get any worse. But it might actually hurt our satisfaction, and we lose out 10% corruption, which is not a big deal. 
That's fine. Um, he's also getting close. I mean, in another sense, it's another way for us to spend Intimidation once we're above 70. Because once you get above 70, you're losing it way too fast. So you're kind of wasting it. So we're waiting for a while. We can let him be mad at us for a little bit longer. Alright, we're just going to wait to see what they do. We're actually going to pop out. Because if they siege us, we actually don't get any replenishment. Right, that would be bad. That's something we don't want. We can just hide here and ambush. Like, even though we lose a lot of our mustering, it still beats getting siege and not being able to replenish at all. This gives us options. Nothing else to do here. Rebellion one turn. Back to reforms. I think we're just going to go get this level 4 upgrade for the end building and actually give us something to build. All right, I think we're good. We will gain energetic. That's really good. Campaign movement plus some instinct. We can also refresh this mission because we don't think we're going to do a counsel uh, chancellor. But he still wants counselor. Counselor, not chancellor. Our new mission's the same mission. Mm. Well, no one yet. We'll keep it this way. I think we're good. We're just going to see what happened with this army. And we're going to keep trying to reinforce Undine. Well, that's a long walk. That's the road, huh? Okay. We can't do anything about that. Let's continue. All right. So I hold in one for the easy target. They went for the... Jade mine. Uh, we're going to just try to do as much damage as we can. Let's get this battle started. Alright, we're loaded up in here. Uh, for once, we're on the receiving end of Tribuchet fire. And they put the Tribuchet in this army group here. Okay, they split up their forces into three pieces, which is actually good for us, I think. Uh, the strategy is still the same. We're going to slip our cavalry out with this distribution, probably from the front in this opening and just run as far as we can to see who comes after us and try to get a flank afterward. And everyone else inside just gonna pray and not die. All right, captain units a little bit in the back. They get a morale bonus to the units nearby. We don't wanna be too cramped. Because then Tribuchet is going to kill us. Alright, this door is going to be under a lot of pressure right away. And also there's no Tribuchet nearby, so we're going to just pile our units here. And try to guard this door as much as possible. And we'll try to move one unit out. Although, if you're not on the victory point or the capture point, you do lose out on morale bonus. So we're not going to go out too much. We just want to make a crowd here so that our tower still can do damage. Uh, give the boost from behind. Keep just one unit here. I think two units is enough here. But there's actually another group here. So we want another group here. I think that's all our forces. Yeah. So these three are our door on the left. Door in the middle door on the right just so I can grab them quickly all right this is the highlight whether we can outmaneuver them with our cavalry got to kill the tribuchet that's what we got to do spread them out don't want them to cramp oh fire flaming shots crap they're gonna go after our towers good thing it's raining though that really hurts flaming shots Alright, they're pulling everyone through that direction. We can't just go after them straight. That will wipe us out with the spear units. We need to just take the hit first and grab whoever we can 
that's open, like say they're exposing their crossbowmen here, we're just going to sneak up behind and charge from behind. If you select, they will respawn. Alright, we want to turn because we want to face them with our shield. Alright, they're too deep in. Let's just charge. No time for them to actually come back and help. Alright, they're just going for the door. That's fine. They only have crossbowmen and they don't have any um, archers, so there's no fire arrows here. So their trebuchet is the only thing that can actually wipe out our uh, tower. Alright, we're just going to charge through them to not get caught by any units. Let's go this way. Build some charge speed. Are right, they routed. Keep charging, get out. We're not going to stall. Alright, they're at the door. Not charging yet. We'll charge. And move them forward. Move them forward. Alright, clean charge. We'll, we'll run. Hit and run, hit and run. Alright, they took out one tower. We'll loop around. Our goal is to kill off that unit. Alright, they're pouring in. Move that forward for the buff. Alright, hit and run means we have to keep running. We can actually use them to run. Use a charge speed boost there. Here comes the generals. I think there's enough of a crowd here where we don't need to move the other unit around. At least the cavalry didn't get a clean charge on our uh, infantry. We just gotta wait for the trebuchet to finish shooting so all the units move up. Uh, so in here. It's tough. We're doing pretty good over there. This is a lost cause. We might turn around and actually just go after them. Four on one, I think we can win. So hold on, going pretty deep. He's captured the tower. Alright, they're starting to bomb this one. And they're moving up finally. I don't know if we can actually kill Sao Holdun. We're not doing much damage. Still have 28 men left. I'll pull one out. We'll get a charge attack. That's where most of the cavalry damage are. Pull another one at them. We don't want them to get a clean charge on us. If we can win the fight over here and pull back and get a rear charge on them, that will help a lot. But I don't think we have time for that. One thing about Tiger and Leopard Cavalry, they're not actually good in melee combat. They have very low damage. Like we do 22 and 6 with 30 attack speed. They're at 726 with 20 attack speed. Obviously, armor piercing is good, but we are a unit without much armor anyways. Uh, our gates our gates busted. Oh, why are we chasing the strategists? Alright, both of these units over here. You stay, you stay. Actually, we can all move back. There's no point to guard the gate. Well, actually, there's a point to guard this choke, though. How's our cavalry doing? Let's 
16 left. All right, we're winning this fight, at least. All right, charge in. Try to retake that gate. They're done. We can kill the strategist. All right, keep clicking. Keep clicking for a refresh attack rate. So you see his health? If you keep spamming the click, he drops real fast. He's running, though. Alright, the strategist is running though. That's not good. Alright, the more units are coming. Maybe he come back and we can kill him. Not hoping for much here, but we I, we got him. Alright, alright. We got one guy. That's a win. We can fight at this choke right here. Alright, let's wipe out the tiger and leopard as well. Small victories everywhere. I'm pretty happy here. This unit's wiped. Saholdun's too strong. If we can hold this trope, maybe buy a little bit more time for our cavalry to win the fight against the tiger and leopards. And then all these spear units we can't beat. Let's see. Getting some damage on them. They're trying to hit the routing troop, and I think they're hitting themselves more. Oh, maybe we can hold this point. Stand in this point for the morale boost. Defending a victory point plus nine. That's why they recovered once they got to here, but they're gonna get wiped Yeah, they're gonna get wiped I right, gotta wipe them out 18 health we can do it All right, they're gonna die first actually we want the, we want the stronger morale unit in the front Come on Sao Holdun. we got you fight us They do have a lot of armor and melee evasion, though. Uh, they caught, they captured that point. We can't do anything about it. Might as well fight at this choke. We're back. Maybe chase us outside. Don't go inside. All right, regroup. Are they braced? I mean, this looks like a great charge, but if they brace somehow, then we're screwed. So I don't know if we should risk it. Oh, great. Cavalry charge. All right, you know what? We're going to go after the tribuchet. That's what we came here to do. Make sure they don't leave this fight alive. Those 38 guys right there is our target. Our morale should stay strong enough if we keep these four alive. They're tired though, so they're not really moving. Exhausted. Yep. Just gotta hold a little longer, Captain. Come on. I'm not gonna charge at anyone else. Just the tribuchets. These two units, even though they routed, they're making it difficult for them to kill them. So they're all just stuck here trying to kill like a few guys left. Giving us a lot of time. It's okay, just a few crossbow shots. You can tank them. Hang on here. Alright, we got not a clean charge. Alright, come on. Got to kill all of them. Nine guys left. We need to kill them till there's like four, I think. 10% of the original unit. Yeah, and then they're done. They need to be cooled down before they can join the fight again. Might as well kill everyone. Alright, Xun Yu. Ah, you don't have a model yet, so you don't have resiliency. We can kill him. First capture point. Oh, we didn't get charge speed on him. Oh, we'll rotate. You charge him, you charge him. So everyone has charge speed. We'll k gain that point back. Don't let him run away. Oh, we might not have time. Nice. Now charge them from the rear. Kill the crossbow unit as well.
Our captains are hanging in here. Like, this guy has been here forever. <laughs> 30 units, still not dead. Just a big ball right there. Oh, we want the point. We want the point. Alright, let's wipe this out completely as well. How is the 30 unit still alive? Like, this is a bug? I have no idea. Oh, they're coming. Spear units. I don't think we have time to capture. We're so close. Alright, we're leaving. I hope we got it, but we're leaving. No, 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 keep moving. That unit died, so they stopped moving. Keep moving, keep moving. We'll build some distance, and then we can counter charge the cavalry. I mean, if they don't chase us, which is a total possibility, we'll just out. We'll, we'll wait them out. We're on defense this time. We deserve this victory. I've convinced myself we destroy we deserve this victory. Alright. Come at us if you guys want. We took out all the range units. And the two strategists. Alright, I'm gonna cut it till if there's action or till we win. Alright, they caught us, um, but we're still trying our best to outrun them. The general is really fast, but everyone else is pretty slow. If we can capture this point, we might stand a chance. If we can just capture it and then just keep running to the other point. Alright, arrow towers start shooting again. Imagine if we kill Sao Holdun with this army. We want them to keep chasing and not stay in the zone. And we want their units to just chase me out this way so they never enter. Come on, capture this, capture this, capture this. Alright, we can kill him. I'll lose the fight and kill Sao Holdun. Click, 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 click. Look at his health go. So close. Alright, alright, we got him. He's routing. Oh, we're routing now. Get into the point. Oh no, we started to route. That's not a good sign. Oh, we lost. It was close. It was close. We almost had him. Alright, even though we lost and we didn't actually kill that many units, this is a pretty good win. They have a 18 unit uh, crossbowmen here left. We killed one general, we popped the resiliency on the other, and we left Sahodun with only 4,000 health. So this is probably very optimal. Uh, we took out the trebuchet, which is what we came to do. We even take out one cavalry and two over here. So. Pretty happy with this result. Alright, we lost another settlement. We lost more intimidation point. Uh, Yuan Yao vassalized. Okay, they're expanding. Smart boy. Alright, we have a rebellion to kill. We can replenish. He actually didn't go for the city. He went north. Is he following these guys? I have no clue what he's doing. The road leads him this way. We're going to go here and just watch what he does. 
Uh, we're going to try to stay useful and just run towards the horse pasture. We can take care of the rebellion problem and also see what he does. I guess he could still go to the city. Anyways, he gave us time. I guess he's going for the tool maker. He'll take it. It'll be free for him to take. We'll lose another 15 points of um, intimidation, which is actually the biggest loss we could have. And to prevent that, we can actually trade it away. Right. If we don't want to lose intimidation, we might as well trade it away to the Han and let them fight the Han. Ooh, Lü Meng. I don't think this is the right Lü Meng, though. I think the proper Lü Meng should have a actual name, a, a, a background. Uh, well, he's a pretty good character, to be honest. Humble and committed. We're going to recruit him. And let, what about her? She has a grudge. Ah, uh, she's the... Um, Zhang Yang's faction. She's the daughter or the wife? I don't know, but... She took over and they got destroyed. We don't really need a commander, though. That's the thing. She's not bad, but we don't need a commander. Alright, we're just going to be on our way. We're going to make a real estate deal again. Going to sell our land to the Han. So we don't have to lose intimidation points. Uh, Lü Bu over here is going to have a nice time killing Sao Dun. Yeah, we can just attack it right away. We're going to end our episode with this fight, I guess. And uh, we're going to do our real estate deal first. Here, have some land. What can you give me back? Uh, we don't want these. These are kind of in danger of Han Sui attacking. Maybe just money for now. We can always get territory back. They're still pretty loaded. Wow, very loaded. How are they getting so much money? Per turn. They're losing territory left and right. I guess they're doing a good job of building it up. Well, another 2,000-ish. Come on. 200. A uh, little less than 2,000. That's fine. Right, so now... Ma Teng is going to take the Han Empire land, so we don't actually have to lose any intimidation. And then we can farm some intimidation back from both of them and take it back right away. Uh, we do lose our income for one turn, not a big deal. Uh, Simon, who's off duty? Right. Deltran is off duty, so all the satisfaction is going to be a problem. We need to put her back. Or else everyone's going to be super mad at us. They're going to drop pretty hard for two turns. Ah, that's why they dipped below to 19 last turn. Because she was returning for that turn. So it should be 29 once she goes back on duty. Okay, at least no one's risking to leave our faction. That might be everything. We just have to take care of some buildings. Upgrade our farm for food. Upgrade our private workshop. Our economy is really bad. Huh, okay. We're still going to recruit him though. Uh, what about Yu Jin though? I mean, he has the name recognition, but I don't know if he has the traits. Right, his traits are much better, and we can use more champions. It's really good traits. And he's willing to spy for us, so he's not a spy, so we're going to take him. Alright. Uh, our economy is bad because we lost the Jade Mine, which is a big source of our economy. Well, we're going to take it right back. Let's go, boys. 
Alright. We're gonna fight this on the field. Alright, we're gonna bomb all their uh, spear guards. Let's go. Alright, familiar map. We were just here. This time, we brought the trebuchets. Um, I prefer if they come out from one door. Although the trees... Uh, yeah, the tree's not good. Mm, then I guess we'll just sit back. They might actually not come out if they consider their force strong enough to stay inside. If that's the case, then we'll definitely just bomb the towers and cut out the part where we move up. But right now, we're just going to hide everyone here. Uh, we should probably do a formation here, just in case they charge out. Shield wall. Well, that's much thinner. Okay, that's fine. We'll just make these guys maybe double up, actually. Yeah, that's actually better. And then these guys right behind. Okay, let's go. Are you guys coming out or are you guys staying in? Looks like they're staying in. I don't think they're coming out. We'll fire a shot to find out. Okay, they're staying in. Alright, we're going to move our formation up uh, to the edge of their range. Take out all the towers. So we'll be back when we get everyone in position. Alright guys, we're in position. Um, we're going to use our trebuchets to actually damage most of the units first. Uh, if we have to tank the towers to do a siege, we do that later. Because we actually really want to use our uh, ammo to soften up the um, spear guards. So that's going to be our main target, spear guards and their units. 105. Alright, we need a better hit. And we might get these on fire if we miss on the shots. Alright, we're hitting the units behind too much. Let's do this. This Z Militia is getting wiped out. And this mountain unit got wiped out. But what I really want to kill is spear guards. Well, that's terrible. How do we miss so badly that we hit the other spear guard unit? This will probably hit the tower a little bit. Yeah. 70% fire damage. Okay, that's good. Let's accidentally miss and take out a tower in one hit as well. That would be great. But we're not hitting the target I want to hit. Ooh, mostly into the wall. These last three shots have been pretty bad. So far we did get tower damage. Alright, let's see how this goes. That's a good shot. And we got the tower lit. Alright. Maybe let's hit the tower and also hit the unit at the same time. That would be great. We're hoping for lucky misses. Like that. It's nice and dry summer weather, so... Little shot and the tower is on fire. There we go. Now they might actually charge. We have to actually get ready for that possibility. Now that the arrow towers are down. They might not see a reason to remain inside. We'll wait till the towers are gone to see what they do. Alright, 
All right, we're gonna move up a little bit to maybe here. I don't like this slope though. If we get charred from this slope, it'd be bad for us. Also, don't want to get hit by this tower. All right, we're gonna set up again. I'll cut this part out, and then we'll see you when we're all set up. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, we shifted everything forward. A nice formation in case they do come out now that they destroyed all the towers. Uh, we're just going to continue to pound the troops, um, hopefully with better accuracy than before, now that we're even closer. Like, that's great accuracy right there. That'd be nice if they come out. Or else we just have to inch forward slowly, use our crossbow to do most of the damage. But first, we're going to hope... Oh, these are much more accurate. That little distance made a lot of di difference here. I'm not going to hit these. Uh, we're going to be wasting our ammo hitting things that are not so accurate. This angle might actually work out as they go to lose formation here. Oh, Oh no, I thought they were charging out. I mean, at a certain point, you should realize you should charge out. I will right, we'll do this a little bit faster speed. Thirty-nine. Why they're not routing? Yeah, there we go. Ooh, that's good to place. All right, replacement unit. Smash them. Good job. One more shot. Maybe these guys in the back, actually. But they're so far away, the accuracy is just a little bit too low. Alright, let's use... Alright. They can pull back. Alright, we're going to move our formation up. Just avoid those towers a little bit. Now the crossbowmen still have shots, so we're going to wall up right here. Let them shoot at us. We'll be 80% range block chance. So we'll just tank all his ammo. And then free us up to actually just deal damage with our crossbowmen soon. A little slow, but... Might want to just not take as much damage just in case there's more armies to fight soon. All right, he's almost out, but we have 22. Let's move up. Only lost nine guys, not that bad. He's done, it's our turn. 120 spear guard. All right, we killed about 11 in that volley, about 10 per volley. All right, he'd lose formation. We'll switch targets. Let's see if we knock out these captains. They'll lose morale. Eventually, we have to charge in just because there's so many units inside. We want to kill all the spear. Alright, we're out too. Time to use our infantry. We can rush down Xiaohodun. Alright, take care of that. With our general. Once he dies, most of their units should route. Let's go. 
Oh, we have a bow. Let's snipe him. I forgot we have a bow. Guojia, how good are you with that bow? You missed. You missed. I'll right, we'll move you closer. <laughs> you seem to be missing a lot. Alright, let's see how good you are with this bow. You missed. Oh, you hit. 300 damage. Alright, let's hurry this part up. I want to give Guojia a chance. So far, he only hit one shot. He hit two. My money is on four and below. Three. Four. Ah, oh, he hit five. Okay. Better than I expected. Alright. They put a spear unit in front, which is a little... Not what we wanted. Alright. Alright, Li Bu. Go take care of him. Wall? Cavalry is coming out. Oh, that unit's gonna get crushed. Right, this is fine. We'll block the door here. Smash the ground. There we go. Alright, we killed the enemy general. Zhang El can chase this group down a little bit. Alright. We can absorb the cavalry charge. We'll spare our units. Alright, John, I'll come back. Our cavalry could actually do some damage here. But maybe we'll just pick up the routing units. Leave our infantry to do the fighting here. Come on, John, I'll join the fun. Nah, Guajia is better just sitting around. Roar! Route! There we go. Alright, strike some fear into them. Alright, come have some fun too. We'll move all the infantry up this way. And we'll leave the cavalry to finish that group up. You can finish chasing this two spear guard. Actually, that's no point. Cavalry, charge. Alright, go after those cavalry. Oh, they're charging Liu Bu. Let's go. Liu Bu's on foot? Oh, he got knocked down. Guo Jia, don't be so brave. Guo Jia, don't be so brave. Where's Zhang Liao? There we go. You knocked the red hair off? Oh, the strategist is preventing the attack. Alright, since I'm already dismounted, ah, the fear is knocking them off. I think this is it. We won. Wasn't super clean, but it was nice. Alright. We did it. Let's see if we capture Xiaohodun. Intimidation right back. Nope, we didn't capture him. Um, we just want to occupy. We need this for our economy. Yeah, it went from 300 to 890. Big part of our economy here. Guajia leveled up. We can pick up Night Battle. We don't need to pick up Night Battle because we already have Night Battle on Zhang Liao. 
we can finally pick up patience to capture officers or actually increase range damage. This is less important just because they don't actually have much range damage. 20. Most of it's armor piercing, so I guess we'll do patience. Okay, so we captured uh, Chang'an's uh, Jade Mine again. Uh, we probably can get a deal with Cao Cao next turn. And then we can finally make him focus on expanding this way. And maybe he can help us contain uh, this giant coalition a little bit. Um, elsewhere, we're going to be uh, taking down this rebellion and then taking down Ma Teng's army from over here. And I might even be encouraged enough to slip Lu Bu's army this way as well and leave the capital undefended for a little bit if we can secure a peace treaty with Cao Cao. Um, I think that might be the last army we'll face in a little while. So hopefully within the next 10 turns we can stabilize the west finally and start expanding down south. It's been pretty messy, but um, pretty fun too. So hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time. Bye!